In recent weeks, the spotlight has been on preachers who seem more focused on controversy than spiritual growth. Following in the footsteps of T.D. Jake's controversial sermon and Kim Burrell's devil-like stop singing moment, Pastor Jonetta Bynum has now stirred the pot with a sermon many have labeled as homophobic. During her sermon, Bynum addressed the men in her congregation, criticizing their attire and behavior. Brothers, we wearing our pants too tight, she proclaimed. Them little bitty suits is worrying me. Them ones that's high waters that's cut all up in here till we can count how many you got down there. The way you shout scare me. Your knee's too close to be a man. Just tipping when you shout. Open up your legs and shout like a man. Her comments didn't stop at the men. She also had strong words for the women, rebuking them for shouting like men and urging them to close their legs. Her remarks quickly went viral on TikTok, sparking outrage across social media platforms. The Black internet community swiftly reacted, with many condemning Bynum's harsh and judgmental tone. One TikTok user, at Justella Murasaki, questioned, I thought the people were supposed to come as they are. Why aren't we talking about the Lord in the pulpit? You scare me, Dr. Bynum. Another user, at Pastor Marka, criticized Bynum's focus on superficial matters, saying, my likings for Dr. Joanita Bynum is well below zero. You nitpicking at the women and how they dressing. You talking about the men and their tight pants. It seems like you have not been right ever since you spent the millions of dollars on that wedding that did not last for but a snap's fingers. The backlash wasn't confined to TikTok. On X, formerly Twitter, at its literally him tweeted, I don't know who's worse, Joanetta Bynum or Kim Burrell. They get in these pulpits, spew hatred, and judge the next person. That's why pull distance themselves from the church. It's full of hypocrites and hatred. Similarly, at Solomon Missouri pointed out, there is a common thread that connects ministries like Kim Burrell and Jonathan Bynum. And it's not spirituality, but cruelty. Instagram also buzzed with criticism. At Devin Roberts, 727 commented on a post by at Thakra Pajus, questioning Bynum's desired masculine ideal. Is she looking for all men to reflect the one that beat her up in that hotel parking lot? Is that the masculine energy she wants all men to have? Meanwhile, at Musicology 69 labeled Bynum, a Bible-thumping nutcase, and at Le Gregory, with nearly 40 followers, bluntly stated, if I wasn't saved, I'd cuss her ass out. This isn't Bynum's first brush with controversy. She previously faced backlash for selling $1,500 prayer cloths during the COVID-19 pandemic and condemning secular music, only to be caught dancing to it herself. These incidents have led some to view her as hypocritical and out of touch with the very faith she preaches. As the discourse around Bynum's sermon continues, it raises important questions about the role of preachers and the messages they deliver. For many, her words have highlighted a need to return to the core teachings of compassion and acceptance found in the Bible, rather than divisive and judgmental rhetoric. Another week, another preacher actin up instead of grown. In recent weeks, The Root has reported on T.D. Jake's swallowed sermon and Kim Burrell's devil-like stop singing moment. Now we're airing out Pastor Jonetta Bynum, who went all the way off on her flock to in sermon many have called homophobic. Brothers, we wearing our pants too tight, she said. Them little bitty suits is worrying me. Them ones that's high waters that's cut all up in here till we can count how many you got down there. The way you shout scare me. Your knee's too close to be a man. Just tipping when you shout. Open up your legs and shout like a man. With that said, we have a feeling that Bynum would have a problem with men like Dwayne Wade painting their nails too. When it came to women, Bynum was an equal opportunity rebuker, telling the women they shout like dudes and need to close their legs. Where is our difference? The Bible say put a difference. She ranted in the video that has gone TikTok viral. Of course, the black internet ain't having it. I thought the people were supposed to come as they are. At Justella Murasaki posted on TikTok, Why aren't we talking about the Lord in the pulpit? You scare me, Dr. Bynum. 
Another added, my likings for Dr. Jonata Bynum is well below zero, said a Pastor Marka in a TikTok video. You nitpicking at the women and how they dressing, you talking about the men and their tight pants. It seems like you have not been right ever since you spent the millions of dollars on that wedding that did not last for but a snap's fingers. The condemnation of Bynum spread across X, formerly Twitter, too. I don't know who's worse, Jonina Bynum or Kim Burrell. They get in these pulpits, spew hatred, and judge the next person. That's why pull distance themselves for the church. It's full of hypocrites and hatred. At its literally him tweeted. At Solomon Missouri posted something similar. There is a common thread that connects ministries like Kim Burrell and Jonita Bynum. And it's not spirituality, but cruelty. At the Grape Juice's Instagram post, critics are branding hashtag Joanna Tabinum's latest viral sermon, homophobic for its references to men who shout like women and vice versa. Collected 287 comments, including one from at Devin Roberts 727 that asked, is she looking for all men to reflect the one that beat her up in that hotel parking lot? Is that the masculine energy she wants all men to have? At Musicology69, who has 77 posts on Insta, responded to at Thagripijus by calling Bynum a Bible-thumping nutcase. And at LeGregory, who has nearly 40 IG followers, said, If I wasn't saved, I'd cuss her ass out. This isn't the first time Bynum has been on the wrong side of right. In the past, according to the Christian Post, she was called to task for trying to pimp folks for $1,000, $500 prayer cloths during COVID, and she condemned people for dancing to secular music, something she was later caught doing herself, which had some calling her the exact opposite of a child of God. This whole situation has us thinking we need to return to Wednesday night Bible study. We don't recall any scripture that says, put a difference, and not trying to offend, but legit question, didn't everybody wear robes in biblical times?